So when I ordered the Xbox Series S, one slight concern I had was how it would perform on a large 4K TV. As the entry level Xbox console this generation, and unlike the Series X or PS5, the Series S isn't a true 4K machine, as such it relies on upscaling to output your games to your 4K TV. I did briefly touch on this in my full Series S review, if you haven't seen that I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. In this video I'm going to look a little deeper into how this console performs in terms of resolution and visual fidelity and discuss which size TV could be the best fit for the Xbox Series S. I use my Series S with a 65 inch 4K OLED. Viewing distance is also an important factor here. When gaming in my living room I sit around 2 meters away from the TV. So when it comes to resolution and graphical fidelity on the Xbox Series S, in terms of results it really is a mixed bag. Microsoft markets the Series S as a 1440p machine, so as an entry level console it was never aiming at true 4K, and that's just fine when you consider the relatively low price. Now 1440p upscaled to 4K looks pretty clean on a 65 inch TV. The thing is many AAA game titles on the Series S don't quite make it to 1440p. Some games only make it to 1080p or even lower which means the upscaling and resolution discrepancy is more apparent when outputting on a large 4K TV. And of course, the bigger your TV, the more obvious the upscaling will be. You may notice finer graphical details and in-game text looking a little rough from time to time. Textures can look a little blurry or suffer from artifacts. I've noticed it on a few occasions in certain games, but to be clear, I'm not saying it looks bad, just that you can tell that it isn't native 4K. On the flip side, some smaller indie titles do output native 4K and look fantastic. Ori and the Will of the Wisp looks awesome on a 65 inch OLED. As I said earlier, in terms of graphical fidelity, it really is a mixed bag. Smaller indie games can look fantastic, while some AAA titles will be noticeably lower resolution. One AAA title I have been enjoying on this console is Forza Horizon 5. Here on the Series S we have two output options. One targets 1440p resolution at 30fps and there's a performance mode that is 1080p and 60fps. It's definitely good to have these options. 60fps is nice on a racing game but if you're not happy with the visual performance then you can drop it to a locked 30fps and enjoy the game at a higher resolution. Personally I prefer this 60fps option as it feels smoother even if that does mean slightly downgraded visuals. You don't really notice graphical details when you're racing around at high speed. Sure you might see some fuzziness at lower speeds, but it hasn't stopped me enjoying the game. Halo Infinite is another AAA Xbox title that has two graphics options on the Series S. Although unfortunately both of these are at 1080p, so there's no high res output option. The Halo gameplay is as solid as ever, but the game does look a little rough here and there on a 65 inch TV. Hopefully the devs can make a 1440p option on the Series S in the future. So to conclude, at an average living room viewing distance of 1.5 to 2 meters, if your TV is 65 inches or above, you will definitely notice the lower resolution games from time to time. That's not to say that it spoils the enjoyment of playing by any means, and if your TV is 55 inch or smaller, then any artifacts or blurriness will be far less noticeable. As my TV is 65 inch, I'd definitely like to get a Series X in the future, as well as the extra power and performance, I'd also appreciate the extra SSD storage that it offers. However, in the meantime, I'm more than happy to be using my Series S. It's a great partner console for my PS5, the performance is solid when you consider the price, and combined with Game Pass, the value for money is hard to beat right now. That's a wrap for this video, I hope it helped you out. Like and subscribe for more. I've been Tom Hyphen, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.